Okay, Occupy Louisville. Um, I got several ideas. I want to I want to work with <laughs> some people on these ideas. I have a lot of good ideas, and I'm a political science major, so I um, I understand politics and uh, power relationships, how people organize, civics, uh, basic civics, uh, Kentucky law. Um, I, I know how to petition. I know how to get signatures. Um, you know, so there's. A number of things that I am able to do, um, but unfortunately I haven't been able to find a spot where I would be effective in Occupy. Um, so I was hoping by telling my ideas I would be able to figure out uh, if anybody was interested in these ideas or perhaps if these ideas do not get enacted this year, they will get enacted you know, another, uh, another time when the opportunity is, is better, is more ripe and there's more uh, like-minded folks who actually want to see change and they want uh, permanent institutional change uh, to happen here in Louisville and you know get rid of the homeless, the poverty, to uh, actually substantially change these things. Um, the problems with the Occupy, there's a ton, there's too many to actually count when it comes to Occupy, there's a lack of transparency, there's uh, they're not a consensus-based democracy. At the very least, if we can learn how to have a consensus-based democracy, um, then we can say that we have shown the powers that be something. We learn how to get along without having uh, one fucking dictator uh, telling everybody else and everybody else being a bunch of slaves or bitches to that one dictator. Uh, if we had a consensus-based democracy, there's no consensus-based democracy, there's a lack of transparency, there's no constitution, so there's no document, no governing document, um, which says this is how we run things, this isn't how we run things. And there's also no declared leadership, no declared leadership. I got several ideas for Occupy Louisville. These are ideas that I'd, be, I'd like to work on. So if anybody thinks that these are good ideas and would like to work on them too, I want to work on these ideas. Um, so, okay, here goes. So number one, my first idea is I want to turn Jefferson Square into Tahir Square. I want to have days of rage, just like they had in Egypt. I want the days of rage. I want to have peaceful demonstrations for several days on the streets of Louisville, um, concentrated at Jefferson Square, to have a rally there and to call for days of rage. Remember, remember the 5th of November. The 5th of November is going to come one day before the presidential election. The, everybody's going to be on the streets. There's going to be something, things are going to happen. And for Occupy Louisville to miss this opportunity, they missed the opportunity last year. Gatewood Gabbard is dead. They could have made a, a substantial change. They could have uh, stood up and pushed people to do, um, you know, have political changes. But instead, they, they didn't want to play politics. They're a bunch of pussies. They're a bunch of bitches. The, the liberals here don't actually want to see change. They got good, uh, comfortable jobs. They want to keep their comfortable jobs. They don't want to actually change to happen. If poverty was to uh, be cured, then a lot of these social workers wouldn't have anything to do, so, you know, they have to keep, um, it's kind of like, you know, Florence Nightingale or some shit, I don't know, like a doctor who keeps a patient uh, still alive or still sick just so the doctor can work on the patient because the doctor cares about the patient. So, days of rage, that's number one idea, I think it's the best idea, I think it's a great idea, if we could shut the commerce, if we can have a huge public demonstration, peaceful demonstration, street demonstrations here in Louisville, if, if Occupy Louisville could get that passed, if we could get that accomplished, um, that would be a site that uh, Louisville will remember till the end of time, till, till the end of time forever, it will be in the history books, Louisvillians finally stood up, they finally stood up for their democracy, they finally stood up for peace and freedom and love and <coughs> solidarity and unity so um, you know so yeah okay so stop you know liberals stop being a bunch of fucking bitch ass pussies some fucking pansy dickless spineless democrat acting like pussies stand the fuck up days of rage number one idea number two help progressive candidates with campaigns they're they're trying to say that they don't want to be political right now. They're not going to endorse anybody because they're fucking pussies. They're afraid of politics. They don't actually want to engage with politics. They don't want substantial change. They want to play nice all the time. 
I mean, how, how can they say they want revolution but they don't want to get into politics? That makes no fucking sense. You can't be for revolution and against politics. That makes no sense at all. We need to get behind the progressive candidates. We need to point out the ones who are doing good, and we need to have a bullhorn and show that there are some good people here in Louisville because they're few and far between, and we need to find those heroes. Attica Scott is one. Uh, there are several of them. I would even say the uh, representative, John, John Yarmuth is a good representative. He came down to occupy Louisville. <coughs> so he cares. He cares. Um, school board candidates, you got several white supremacists, so we should um, definitely speak out against those. And uh, there's several other competitive races which we should say something about. Who's the progressives? Who's the good guys? Who's the bad guys? We should draw the line in the sand. Another thing Occupy Louisville needs, it needs a constitution. It needs a governing document. Right now, Occupy Louisville is being monopolized by just a few people. Um, they pretend like they're not leaders, but they do as they please, and they're the ones that make all the decisions. Unless there's a quorum of ten. That's, that's what they say. If there's a quorum of ten... Um, which is a quorum that's larger than what city council, Louisville City Council needs. So Occupy Louisville has standards of a quorum higher than city council. Um, it's arbitrarily set. The whole point of having a quorum of ten is so that ten people will never vote against anything that they decide. Uh, without ten people, it's just whatever they do. <coughs> so I think we should write down the Constitution with a work group's model and with a democratic consensus. We need a work group's model, democratic consensus, just like they're doing in Zuccotti Park. Without democracy, without framework, without reliance on the process, Occupy will fizzle out and it will fail. Um, I think we need more Topics contributors, Topics.com. It's a public forum where any anonymous person could get up and sign whatever name they want to. Um, I used to sign my name, now I do different characters, Chief Redbird and... Um, uh, John Paul Marat and uh, just different other, uh, which is a revolutionary out of uh, France, and Chief Redburn is a Indian chief here in Kentucky. Um, so, topics, it's, uh, it's uh, public forums, and in order to get the public debate, get people talking about what it is, it's, it's rough on topics because most of uh, people on topics in Louisville because they have each city, so the one for Louisville, Kentucky, there's a ton of white supremacists, a lot of racist motherfuckers. And here in 1975, Louisville had a lot of white people that would stand up against the black kids, and there's going to be a race issue coming up with the school board elections, the school assignment busing plan. Okay, yeah, uh, we don't want you to, you know, have kids that drive so many miles away. We need greater choices in the public education system. We need some work. But we don't need to go back to Plessy versus Ferguson. We don't need to go back to Jim Crow segregation. And that's what's going to happen. And white people don't give a fuck about that. Generally speaking, it's a, uh, the uh, Southern strategy, Nixon's Southern strategy. You say that you're against busing when really you're saying you don't like black people and that gets the white supremacists to vote for you. <coughs> and here in Kentucky, there's plenty of white supremacists. Even here in the chocolate city of Kentucky, there's white supremacists here in the chocolate city of Kentucky. Plenty of white supremacists. Louisville was one of the last cities to integrate their schools, and now they're going to be one of the first to segregate their schools. Remember 2007 Meredith versus Jefferson County Board of Education? That undoes... Un, undoes the uh, Brown versus Board of Education. Supreme Court decision, U.S. Supreme Court, Jefferson County, Louisville. That's right here. So we need more topics contributors. Get on topics, put out your opinion. Topics.com, T O P I X.com, T O P I X.com. This might be two videos, but all these, vid these ideas will get articulated. So unlike a meeting where basically only a few people are allowed to speak and nobody else is, um, or you're laughed at or you're pushed off to the side, oh, who gives a fuck what you got to say, right? I would like to uh, develop a work group. Any of these would be good things. Um, like the uh, writing up a constitution, you can have a constitution, write up work group, you could have... Um, um, endorsing candidates, work group, you could have 
uh, the Tahir Square, Jefferson into Tahir Square, the rally on Jefferson Square, um, November 1st to 7th or whatever, you could have that work group being developed. There's three work groups right there. I think we also need leadership. We need a leadership panel. We need like not, not just a treasurer, but even like student councils has president, vice president, treasurer, secretary. Those are four positions occupied doesn't even have. We should be passing out titles to everybody, get everybody feeling like they're included um, in a part of this organization. Democratic consensus-based decisions. So, uh, you know, bring everybody, envelope people into the organization. If they want to do something, then you know, give them a title. I, don't, I mean, what's, uh, titles are free. Titles are free. But we need just more than a treasurer. We decided who we wanted with a treasurer, but we need more than just treasurer. President, vice president, we need leadership. Any movement, organization, or political action group, anybody that's ever got anything done had leadership. So, and uh, leadership isn't against uh, democratic consensus-based decisions. We can elect leadership. That's democracy. We can elect you know, we can make our decisions, we can elect people to represent us, and that's different being in a small group than like the representative so-called democracy that we live in with the Electoral College where they can vote for any other fucking person that they want to, where 75% of Kentuckians don't even vote. It's not a democracy. Never seen consensus-based democracy. Ever. Robert's Rules of Order says that there's one chair, right? <laughs> Somebody's got to lead to the, the discussion, but we got to have a discussion. There's got to be a discussion. One of the first things Occupy Louisville did was cut out discussion. I twinkled down. Consensus-based democracy says that we should have said, why do you vote against it? And until we all agree on this, then nobody is leaving. We can't agree. If we can't all agree on something, then it won't get uh, decided upon. We cannot act upon the group based on that decision. Leadership. Occupy Louisville, we need leadership. Transparency. We need transparency. It needs to be clear. There's minutes being written down, but the person who writes minutes don't have good hearing. So the, the hearing, um, you know, the, they don't get posted. They don't send out emails. I don't know. There's, there's so many organizational problems. Um, but the transparency, if I think we should videotape all the meetings and just post all the videotapes online. I doubt that they're, they're kind of boring meetings. I don't think anybody will watch all the meetings, but the fact that we're posting them up online and showing them to everybody would show that we're being honest and that all the decisions are being made, consensus-based decisions. We're doing it legit. We're being honest about it. Transparency. We need to be clear as cellophane. We need to be clear as a window. I think videotaping the meetings is a good idea. I think having minutes... Uh, posted like in a public spot. I don't even know where the minutes are being posted. I go to the meetings frequently and like it just, uh, I don't know, I think it's, uh, I'm left out of the loop. <laughs> right? So, transparency. We need to know what's going on. There needs to be transparency. There are people who's in positions of leadership who pretend like they're not in positions of leadership. And we should give those people titles. Let them keep doing what they're doing. I'm not saying change anything. I'm just saying make it clear for anybody else that if you want to know how to post something on the website, if you want to know how to post something on the Facebook page, you, there should be a process in which that, is, uh, in which that happens. Uh, but it seems like it's really arbitrary, and it's uh, almost uh, it's Lord of the Flies, right? It's Hunger Games. And without consensus-based democracy, nobody should be allowed. Uh, no decision should be made without consensus-based democracy. Did the group decide it? Then it doesn't count. Nope. It's consensus-based democracy. Either we all agree, or it doesn't get enacted. That's the only way consensus-based democracy works. Um... Everybody needs to run for office. Every person. I I have very little. Um, I'm poor, so I don't even have you know money. I was biking you know everywhere I, I that was going. Um, but I think that when you run for office, you have a bullhorn for your ideas. So when you run for office, you are a person who might become a leader. And so since you might become a leader, that makes your opinions that much more important. Since your opinions are that much more important, uh, you'll get your name in the paper, you'll get your opinions printed, people will be calling you, and um, that gives you more power, that gives you influence. Newt Gingrich is right on that. 
he shouldn't have dropped out when everybody was telling him to drop out because he actually had influence then. So, alright, this is, this is video one. Video two coming up shortly.